Hi, it's Fab Pauli here. Welcome back to BizJet TV. And today we're going to be doing an episode which is slightly different than the usual. We're going to be talking about a mystery of aviation, which is the disappearance of Malaysian flight MH370. Now, the reason why I want to cover this subject today is a lot of people ask me about what I think happened to that aeroplane. The aeroplane disappeared. Now, the very disturbing thing that really hit me quite close was the other day in the Daily Telegraph here in the UK, they published an article about the accident. Now, bear in mind that this aeroplane disappeared the 8th of March 2014. Here we are today in 2019, five years later, and we still don't know what really happened. Now, in the Daily Telegraph, this is what they said, and this was just published the other day. It said, uh, they talked about Captain uh, Zahari Shah, which was the captain of the 777 flight. Uh, and they said he may have been clinically depressed. And because he was clinically depressed, he decided to commit suicide and crash the aeroplane into the ocean and take everybody with him. Now, why is it that they suddenly come out with this piece of news five years later and the statement is actually he may have been? Now, fancy saying something like this about somebody that, you know, probably passed away five years ago, okay? We still don't know what really happened. And you're accusing the guy of being clinically depressed. And because of that, he went and killed 227 passengers plus the crew. Uh, I mean, I don't think this is on. I mean, this is just not something you do. Now, let's just look at what actually happened uh, on that day. That airplane was a uh, Boeing 777. Uh, it was in good condition. Uh, both pilots were experienced. Uh, the captain loved flying. He, he used to post YouTube videos about his flight simulator he had at home. Um, his co-pilot was, was, was well experienced too and they were flying together. They were flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. And at a certain point, the airplane disappeared off the radar screen. Um, it then reconnected uh, through the satellite system about an hour later, uh, but no it just re reconnected to the satellite, but no communication actually happened. So uh, we're not sure. Um, there's all sorts of theories out there. One of the theories is there were 20 employees of a Chinese company called Freescale Semiconductors. Um, they were on the flight and they also had the patent to a special new invention, which now, uh, because these people disappeared, uh, has now been handed over to some other people. So there's talks about maybe the airplane was shot down so that then this patent could you know, change hands. Uh, there's theory about uh, hijacking and the airplane was actually land landed in, in Reunion Island and they did something to it and the passengers and whatnot. There's other theory that, you know, the pilots did fly the airplane into the ground. But uh, let's look at it logically here. Now, I'm a pilot. I'm a professional pilot. I've flown for the airlines and that. Now, the Boeing 777 is an airplane which has a lot of radar equipment on board. So those things a big birds flying in the sky, they can't just disappear. Yes, it would go off the radar screen, but with all the satellites we have in the air, don't you think they could have tracked it or they did track it? The other interesting thing, which I'd like to point out, is that when an airplane does disappear off the radar screen or an airplane doesn't answer a radio call more than a certain number of times, Air Force jets are usually scrambled into the sky to go and intercept the airplane. So my question is, this airplane disappeared off the radar screen. Why weren't Air Force jets scrambled to intercept the airplane to try and assess what was going on? Because let's face it, this thing's flying in the sky with a lot of fuel on board. It could easily be turned into a weapon, just like 9-11. Uh, so why, was, why didn't that happen? Or did that happen and they're not telling us what they discovered? Now, the other interesting thing, which I find fascinating, is the fact that a few months later, in July 2014, which is just four months after uh, MH370 disappeared, MH17, which is a Boeing 777, from Malaysian Airlines, this time flying from Amsterdam in the Netherlands to Kuala Lumpur, was actually officially shot down over the Russian-Ukraine border. Now, some analysis have done of the uh, have been done uh, of the debris. There was a Dutch doctor on site which actually said that the bodies of the passengers actually had died quite a while before the actual crash. Well, that's strange. Um, now, there's lots of other stories circulating on the internet, but I'd like to bring to your attention something that I discovered. And let me just pull this book up. There's this interesting book called The Energy Grid, written by Bruce Cathy. 
Now, Bruce Cathy was a, a, an airline pilot like myself. He used to fly for Air New Zealand. And he, he back in the 1970s, started tracking UFO sightings. And he discovered that the UFOs uh, sort of uh, appeared and disappeared according to a certain energy, energy grid which surrounded the planet. And he said, and this could probably explain things like the Bermuda Triangle. So my question is, and you can find a link here to some lectures that Bruce Cathy gave. Um, I suggest, you know, uh, see if you can find this book on Amazon um, or even, you know, uh, just Google Bruce Cathy and, and find out he, uh, about his theories. And that's very, very interesting. He was into mathematics and astronomy. And of course, he was a professional pilot and he, he did a lot of studying and he's got a lot of evidence in his books to explain this grid system and how it works. It's almost like it's like a wormhole. And these UFOs or whatever they may be, I mean, unidentified flying objects sort of come and go according to this grid system. So there is, uh, there are some videos on, on the internet that show a UFO close to Malaysian 370 that then suddenly vanishes off the radar screen. So uh, my question is, and I'm not saying this is what's happened, I'm just asking you who's watching this video the question, what if Malaysian 370 ended up going through this grid or wormhole or whatever you call it and, and literally did vanish. What if that is what happened? And what if the authorities actually know about this grid? And Bruce Cathy was interrogated a number of times by different people from different um, organizations uh, about the work that he was doing and telling him to sort of keep quiet. But, you know, he continued putting the message out there and, and producing a number of books, not just the energy grid. He's written a number of books on the subject. So, uh, here we are, five years later, we still don't know what really happened to Malaysian 370. This is not the only aeroplane in the history of aviation that's vanished. Um, we've seen, you know, Amelia Earhart's aeroplane disappear. We've seen a number of aircraft and boats disappear through the Bermuda Triangle. We've also seen other flying, uh, you know, aeroplanes and boats disappear through the Devil's Triangle, which is in the uh, just off the coast of Japan. So there are other areas in the world where boats and aeroplanes have disappeared. Um, and there is so much about our planet that we still don't know. There is so much that we have discovered about nature, about science, about our planet and the universe in the last 20, 30, 40 years. So my question is, could it be that Malaysian 370 went through one of these so-called anomalies? And I call it anomaly because it's something we don't understand yet. I mean, this is a question to you. I'm not making a statement. I'm not trying to go into conspiracies or UFO strange little green men theories or whatever. It's just a question I'm asking you that's been watching BizJet TV, where we talk a lot about aviation and airplanes and private jets um, and, you know, aircraft accidents and all these things in relation to aviation, because I get asked a lot, uh, what do I think? What happened to Malaysian 370? Well, you know, I don't know what happened. I'm just saying, you know, the, the Bruce Cathy theory of the energy grid hasn't actually been put out there. So I'm putting that out there now and encouraging you to research Bruce Cathy's uh, research, um, he, the research and the stuff that he has uncovered and think for yourself and come to your own conclusions and, you know, post your comments below. So that's all from Fab Paul at BizJet TV. If you haven't liked this video, do so. Share this video, comment below, and I'll see you on the next one.